Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. You know, one of the things that I just drives me crazy is people putting out videos about cruising with so much misinformation in it. They do it to get views, they do it to go viral, but the information in there is so wrong and puts out so much bad information, sometimes we just gotta come on here and tell the truth. So I was going through cruise news stories and I came across one about ice cream parties on celebrity cruise lines. Now I'm not gonna give this woman's name because I refuse to give her any credit, but I do wanna debunk the story. So she put out a TikTok video, got millions of views, went viral, and the essence of the video, it says, hey, if you want a celebrity cruise, and there's suddenly an abundance of ice cream, they're having ice cream parties, trying to get rid of ice cream on board the ship, well, that's because so many people have died that they have to store the bodies in the ice cream freezer. She goes on to say that on average, four to 10 people die on every single cruise. Four to 10 people die on every single cruise. I wanna say that twice, so those numbers sink in. According to her, this causes the morgue to overfill and they have to put the body somewhere. So they pull out all the ice cream, they pull out the frozen foods, they give it to the passengers so they have a place to put the bodies. Now, why someone would put out this type of information? Look, I don't know, because you can Google it and you could get the answers very quickly as to what really goes on on cruise ships. But let's go over what is true and what is not true. So first of all, cruise ships do have morgues. That part is true. The average cruise ship morgue can hold anywhere between four and six bodies for people that pass away on cruise ships. Do people pass away on cruise ships? Yes, they do. Cruising does have an older demographic and people do pass away from natural causes on cruise ships. It is estimated that 200 people die per year on cruise ships, the majority of them from natural causes. Now I say estimated because there's not like an actual database that lists every single person that's passed away on a cruise ship. Cruise lines don't have to report that specifically to the public, so it is an estimate that 200 people pass away per year on cruise ships. But she's claiming anywhere between four and 10 pass away on every cruise. Well, the number of cruise ships that were sailing, total number of cruise ships sailing in 2023 was 454 cruise ships. You can Google that number. So just using her estimate, and we'll take the low end of this estimate. If you say that there are 454 cruise ships with people passing away between four and 10 people per cruise, we'll just use the number four. That there alone comes out to 1,816 people passing away on those cruise ships. Well, that is well above the estimated 200 that pass away per year, but that's just per cruise ship. Now keep in mind, cruise ships don't just make one sailing per year. Now we're gonna have to do some estimating at this particular point because cruise ship itineraries vary. You have some three day sailings, four day sailings, you know, all the way up to world cruises. So the number of times a particular cruise ship sails per year, this part is purely going to be a mathematical estimate here. So we're just gonna say that each cruise ship says a seven day sailing year round. That's what we're gonna use just for simple math. This part probably is not super accurate. I wanna be upfront about that. But if we take each cruise ship sells seven day sailings for a full year, that comes out to 23,608 sailings of 454 ships. Then multiply that by the number of people that pass away per ship. Well, you again, will use the low number of four. So she is saying that 94,432 people pass away on cruise ships every year in her TikTok video. If you do the math, throwing in there some guesstimation and some you know, estimated math, okay? Again, not 100% accurate on these numbers. These are pure guesstimations, but that still comes out to 94,000 people, well above the 200 estimated people that pass away every year on a cruise ship. According to her video too, she worked in the entertainment department. So she didn't actually work down in the food services area. She didn't work in medical, but she heard it from somebody or knew somebody 
who worked down there. She also did work for the cruise lines, but it was over 10 years ago. So to me, this really just sounds like I'm going to make up some information. I'm going to make up some numbers. I'm going to try to make a viral sensational video about all this death on cruise ships. But if, like I said, if you Google it and you fact check it, it's just not true. The only true parts of the story are, yes, there's a morgue. Yes, people do pass away on cruise ships. Yes, cruise ships serve ice cream. That's about all from her story that is actually factual, that is actually true. Four to 10 people do not pass away on every cruise. Cruise lines do not store bodies in the ice cream freezer. But there was one story last year where a cruise line did get in trouble because they did put a body in a walk-in fridge. It did happen. They did get sued for doing that because that is a huge no-no. Cruise lines do not and are not supposed to put bodies in the refrigeration units, so the freezer, the walk-ins, anything like that. Now, the U.S. Navy, a Navy warship, they may do this. I have heard, because they do not have morgues on board Navy vessels, that if they do have someone pass away, they do have to store the body somewhere. If you are in the Navy, have been in the Navy, and are familiar with how the Navy does this, confirm it in the comments below. Fact check me on the Navy and what they do with people who pass away on the ship, because I've never served on a Navy ship. I cannot 100% say this is true. But if you have served in the Navy, let us know. Is that part true or not? Because I did hear that happens in the Navy. But you know what? This doesn't happen on cruise lines. This is not supposed to happen on cruise lines. And people, stop just making up facts about cruises to make a video to try to go viral, putting misinformation out there. You're going to get called out and you're going to get debunked. So honestly... Stop doing it. All right, and that is gonna be our video today for debunking some cruise lies on the internet. I hope everyone out there has enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. I'll let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.